Good afternoon, everybody. I would like to thank you all, all of my subscribers, viewers, and followers. Uh, today, I would like to introduce you to a very beautiful, giant Havortia Symbiformis, which technically start getting variegated and is very beautiful plant. So what I'm trying to do today, I would like to transplant this beautiful Havortia into a very nice, round, giant, good quality pottery, as you see. And these are my items that I'm gonna use. I have a large size pumice, I have a slow release fertilizer, and I have a mixed soil, which is 65% is pit moss and the rest is perlite. Let's start transplanting. Now, step one. In order to transplant such a giant plant into the ceramic pot, what you see, this has become so large that there is lots of pieces that is hanging here. So we're gonna get all of these pieces out until we see the top of the pot. The reason is this, that when we are going to bring it into this pot and we put it in the center of the pot, we want to make sure that these branches that I just took out and I'm going to continue taking out does not go underneath of the soil to get rotten when the water. So we clean up the plant first. This is the method of cleaning. We take big, a small, whatever pieces until we get to the edge of the pot. See? And you have to remember, each one of these will be repotted and technically create another giant plant. Now we are slowly getting into the edge on one little end. See? This is the end of the pot and the root is on the air. So if we don't do it, soon these are going to get damaged. So one way or other, since we are going to repot it, we have to take all of these branches out and get the pot ready to be transplanted. I'm going to technically continue doing this and then I'll show you the finished product. As you see, we took lots of pieces out of the plant and we completely cleaned out around the edges. And then later on, what we are going to do, we are going to cut all of this individually and we give them a little bit of a cleaning like this. So this is gonna go into the plastic container and throughout the time it's gonna grow and become this one. So we are going to move this for later and later on I'll show you another video how to pot this. There is a lot of them, probably about close to maybe hundreds of them that they are very nice. They are very easy to grow. They have a very nice root, some of them, some of them doesn't. So this is what we are going to do. First, we clean up the table and start the second step or maybe third step of this work. Now, this is for later. As you see, is among the good amount of the pieces of the plant. 
Now, we're going to continue preparing the bottom of the pot and then transplant this Havortia to this pot. We have a piece of mesh that we are placing it on the top of the hole. As we see, there is a big hole. And now we're going to cover that. And then we use washed large size pumice. See? Why we do that? We want to create a very strong drainage. See? And then we add up a little touch of the fertilizer for the future root that if it's reached to that bottom, there is a nutrient available for it. Now this is the soil that is already mixed with this fertilizer, which is 14, 14, 14. And we continue preparing the pot for transplanting our Havortia. This is going to be very beautiful, nice arrangement. Now, But I start with this, and then we move everything to the side for the base of that plant. When we tap it, make it nice and roomy for the root of that big plant. Now, the way you transplant it, you are technically laying down the plant down. Look, and look at the root. Now, what we are going to do, we are transplanting a little bit of the soil, which is old perlite that was on the bottom of the pot, for having some kind of the environment that the root of this plant does not get hurt or damaged in a new environment. See? We're gonna bring them over here and then place them over here. Now, this is the time, as you see, it sits very nicely in the pot. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up around it and then show you what I have done. So, we have transplanted into the new pot. We want to make sure that it is even from all the sizes, sides. The distance between the plant and the edge of the pot has to be similar. If for any reason you found after you filling up the soil that is not, you can always take more tops from around the pot. Here what I did, this is the bottom of that plant. So what I did, I mixed a portion of the bottom of that old pot into the new soil and I'm going to add a little bit of a fertilizer to it 
and make sure that the plant is very, very happy and the environment that is going to is not so strange. However, we got to fill this around completely. And then after I'm filling it up, I'll show it to you. Now we have completed putting the soil. I'm gonna compact the soil and make room for gravel. Make sure every time you use the gravel, you wash it before you use it. You put some spray of water on the edge of the pot because we are not going to water it until tomorrow. This is a giant plant and weather is cold and now it's about getting a little cooler is the afternoon so we want to make sure not to water it until tomorrow i will finish it and then we clean it and that's about it now here's how we do it with hand so I'm going to just put cover all the empty area here you see there is some soil we cleaned it and tomorrow we clean it one more time Let me finish it and I'll show you the finished product. Now, this is all done. We're not gonna touch it or clean it that much because the root just sat into a new area, new soil. So we want them to be like this until tomorrow. Tomorrow we gotta get all these dead leaves out and then water it and polish it. After one week, we're gonna come and compact it a little bit, like this, and then press it, make sure that it's growing like a dome. At this time, I have completed this uh, process. I hope you like, enjoyed it. If you do, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, send my channel to your friends, relatives, introduce them to my channel. Let them enjoy it too. And leave me a comment if you have any question. Again, the name of this plant is Havortia symbiformis. And this portion of it is variegated. Thank you again for watching my channel i appreciate and until next video goodbye